Gracious me. We now move to the leader of the Plaid Cymru, um, Leanne Wood. First Minister, the Health Minister tells us that fewer than 3% of hospital consultants' posts are unfilled, yet the BMA tells us today that consultants' exhaustion is risking patient safety. Are you confident that we have the right number of doctors in the Welsh NHS? Yes, the report was based on one unnamed consultant, uh, not on consultants, so there is no evidence to back up the story in any way that I can see. I was with a number of consultants on Saturday, I must say, and not one of them raised this issue with me. First Minister, the complaint is that there are a lack of middle grade doctors in the Welsh NHS. Now, Applied Cymru Government would provide training opportunities to recruit 1,000 additional doctors to help deal with capacity issues in the Welsh Health Service, which you deny uh, exist. Are you telling us this afternoon that you are happy with staffing levels in our hospitals, or do you support Plaid Cymru's calls for more training and more recruitment and better workforce planning? I am happy because the vacancies show that, but training more people will not mean there are more doctors. If you train doctors, they can travel anywhere in the world. What you have to do is to recruit them and make sure that there are opportunities for them to stay in Wales. Simply training doctors will not mean there are more doctors in the NHS. I would agree with that, and that is why we have put forward calls to incentivise more doctors to stay here. First Minister, the Wales Audit Office is telling us that doctors are overworked, and you are telling us that services have to be reorganised because we don't have enough specialist staff. Will you now accept the basic principle that we have been putting forward now for some time, that recruiting and training 1,000 additional doctors in Wales will improve our Welsh Health Service, yes or no? Is there any evidence that it's going to be 1,000? Is there evidence to suggest that there should be consultants or middle-grade doctors? Is there evidence to suggest that there's a shortage of consultants generally in Wales? Where is the evidence to suggest that if you train people, given the fact it takes 10 years at least to train up to consultant <laughs> level, uh, that this will nothing. help? Well, the reality is this. We are recruiting. Plaid Cymru's idea was to get people to consume more sugar, yeah. to yes. consume more sugar, to pay for more doctors. I notice that the leader of Plaid Cymru has been entirely silent on that issue ever since the ridiculous nature of it was exposed within this chamber. We are recruiting more doctors. We are ensuring that Wales is a place that doctors will want to come. Her party doesn't want to change things. Does she not realise does she not realise that in order to recruit more doctors, you have to make sure the training that they get is attractive? Without reconfiguration, that will not happen. That will not happen. You will not attract more consultants and middle-grade doctors into Wales if the training opportunities are not there, and yet her party opposes the provision of those facilities. You cannot have one without the other. And the idea of picking a 1,000 doctors out of thin air without any evidence to back it up, I cannot believe that an opposition party would be that irresponsible. We will make sure that the health service, as it has been doing over the last month or two and beyond, will go from strength to strength, and we will not have cheap and uncosted political slogans.